I don't know, man, this video doesn't need to be too long, but today we have ourselves a really big suspension handed out in the National Hockey League. It is to the boxer himself, Eric Goodbranson, suspended for one game under Rule 46.2, the aggressor rule, for an altercation with Florida's Nick Cousins. Now, if you wanted to know what exactly happened here with Gutty and Cousins, then we did make a video about this yesterday, so you can go ahead and check that out. It is on the channel. Let me go ahead and pull that up right here. No, okay, it is not this one, not the trade from seven years ago, that in which we actually did talk about back when it happened, but the, okay, not these either, not the trades, but this one, the Eric and Branson, Nick Cousins jumping situation, that is all you need to know, it was explained in that video, long story short, I am not surprised in the slightest that Eric and Branson got a suspension, because he ended up going over to Cousins, grabbing the guy, taking him down to the ice, and wailing on him. It's all available in the video from yesterday if you wanted to hear my thoughts about that. But of course, I'm kind of trolling here. This wasn't the only suspension handed out, nor is it even the biggest suspension given out today. Because we had ourselves David Perron of the Detroit Red Wings getting suspended six games by the NHL Player Safety Department. He can choose to appeal to a neutral arbitrator. Now, just like Eric and Branson, we did talk about David Perron and the situation from yesterday. It was all here in this video, the first one. Dylan Larkin, David Perron updates, breaking down the huge scrum, asking if it was a targeted attack. Now, the thing is, when it comes to this David Perron situation, I'm not surprised in the slightest the guy got six games, or a suspension, excuse me, we already knew it had the opportunity to be above five games because the hearing was in person. And I say in person loosely, but what that really means in this situation is that they Zoom called the guy. Zoom technically isn't in person, but it is face-to-face -face communication, so it's a little bit different. But because Perron had this quote-unquote in-person hearing, he was allowed to be suspended for more than five games. He got six today, and now it's sparked up a whole bunch of conversation as to the consistency of the NHL's player safety department. Not that it wasn't already in contention before, but now it's even more in the spotlight. Here's Alan Walsh. The Department of Player Suspensions, aka the George Peros Kangaroo Court, is a media slash PR entity that has nothing to do with player safety. A baseball bat swing to the player's head? No hearing. David Perron, about a thousand and a hundred NHL games without a suspension. Zub played the next shift. Six games is a farce. And of course, Alan Walsh is referring to the Jacob Truba swing earlier this month where Truba ended up full on baseball swinging a stick at a player's head. This was not suspended, only dealt with a fine. And honestly, there's a debate to be made that that Truba thing was not really an intentional swing and it's why there was no suspension there. But for David Perron, I mean, look, the guy did go out there with a technically uncalled for attack that was fully intended on hurting the guy that he ended up hurting. Artem Zub played the next shift, yes. Artem Zub was all right, yes. But still, the way David Perron went out there and did the thing, that was not great. And we had talked about this yesterday. Right idea, wrong player, wrong action too, because look, he didn't even get the guy that was involved in the Dylan Larkin thing. It was really all over the place. Emotions were running high, and as you could see from the comment section of the video we made yesterday, yeah, everybody is really up in arms about this entire thing, and understandably so. I'm not going to say rightfully so, I'm going to say understandably so, because we're all human, and some of y'all in the comments are really vicious in me, or really vicious to me in this one as well, which I'm not surprised about, but it is interesting to note. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Firstly, about Eric and Branson getting suspended for one game. This sucks for me because I still have my fantasy team. I'm not going to drop him because that guy still gets so many blocks and hits. He's amazing. And also let me know your thoughts about David Perron getting the six-game suspension too. I hope you enjoyed this video of 99. And bye.